Yeah. Would you mind getting me that box of rice down there? This one? No, the one on the bottom. Sure. Oh, yeah, baby, get the rice. <laughs> With that? It would help that your butt looks really good today. You think? Uh-huh, you're having a good butt day. <laughs> so I should keep parting it in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Clean up on aisle six. Uh, Dharma, that's code. They mean us. <laughs> Be silly. With the couple on aisle six, please clean it up. <laughs> See? Code. Wow. I wonder what price check really means. I don't know. Price check! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Dharma. Hey, wow. Look at you, Greg. Look how big she's gotten. Oh, it's hard to believe. Do we know her? It's Donna from the Express Lane. Oh, Express Lane, Donna. So, you and Jimmy must be getting pretty excited, huh? I guess. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Jimmy left. What? What happened? He told me that he was being transferred to New Zealand, but I saw him yesterday at 7-Eleven. <laughs> what did he say? He pretended he wasn't him. <laughs> Do that. What guys do that? Honey, we're here to be supportive. I thought we were here to shop. <laughs> you just let it out. Come, 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 come. This lane is closed. <laughs> she can't do that. Hey, I've seen her close an interstate so ducks can cross. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I can't raise this baby by myself. Well, can't your parents help you? Dharma, you know my parents. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know her parents? Honey, she's our checkout girl. I think I'm gonna have to give this baby up for adoption. I'm just not ready to do this alone. But Donna, you are not alone. You have me and Greg. <laughs> Thanks, but it's not the same thing. I want this baby to have two parents. You know, a mother and a father. Like you guys. Hey, maybe you could adopt my baby. Yeah! It's because our bed is nice and comfy. But you can't expect a pregnant woman to sleep on a ratty old air mattress. No, I expect her to sleep in her home. That's my little system for the world. At the end of the day, everyone returns to their own home. Come on, it'll be fun. It's just like camping. Yes, it is, except we're not outside and you volunteered us to adopt a stranger's baby. <laughs> Donna is not a stranger. She is our checkout girl. Dharma. I understand, when you go to the supermarket, you're at the register, you might pick up an impulse item. Gum, nail clippers, a horoscope if you're feeling nutty, but come on, not a baby. You know what? You might be right. Why don't we just get some sleep and talk about it in the morning? Fine. But I really don't think that I can do it. In the morning. Okay, but I still... <laughs> We're not going to solve this now, so let's just give it some time. Dharma, this is a huge decision. We should both agree on it. Of course. So if I give it time and I sit, still... Sit, sit. <laughs> Forget about it. For now, let's pretend that we're camping in the redwoods, making love under the harvest moon. Oh, man, I gotta pee! <laughs> Next to a big waterfall. So is this checkout girl cute? <laughs> What's that got to do with it? Well, if she's not seeing that guy anymore, maybe you can introduce me. Peach is having a baby. Yeah, but she's giving it to you. <laughs> no, she's not. Hey, how long after they have the kid do they keep making milk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seek professional help. You are ill. Hello? 
Hi, you're here. Hi. Come on in. Yeah, sorry we're late. Strong headwind on the bridge. You biked here? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we. Yeah, we don't want to participate in the fossil fuel addiction foisted upon us by multinational corporations. Yeah, and, 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 and. And, and so from now on, we will use the energy of our bodies to transport us instead of exploiting the planet we live on. Well, what planet would that be, Larry? <laughs> that we couldn't talk over the phone. Um, Dharma and I are having a little problem and I could really use your help. Is it about sex? No, no, no. Because Dharma understands when you're tired. Uh, good. No, this is, um, about a baby. You're having a baby? No, no, we're not having a baby. There's a girl who works at our supermarket and she's pregnant and Dharma wants us to adopt her baby. Oh, the girl who works at your supermarket? Yes. Do you know her? No, not at all. Wow. Like, just taking a stranger's baby into your home and raising it as your own. I know. Greg, it's your first random act of kindness. <laughs> We're so proud of you. Oh, man. So do you think being adopted had a negative effect on you? Heck no. Turned out fine. <laughs> Get out of this fish, you stupid bracelet! Hey. Hey. Daddy's home. <laughs> yeah, where's Dharma? I wasn't feeling so good, so she took over my shift at the supermarket. She's working as a checkout girl? <laughs> What's wrong with being a checkout girl? No, nothing. Oh, yeah, then how come you went to lawyer school instead of checkout girl school? No. I just... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm just... I'm a horrible person. No, Donna, you're not. It's just... Do we have any cookies? I'll go get you some. Thank you. And don't cheap out that Pepperidge Farm! Man, I think this is the wrong fish. Bacon? <laughs> really? Don't you love yourself? I'm not sure. I love bacon. <laughs> Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna set this bacon aside. And I want you to think about if you really want to eat. But I like... Bop, 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 just think about it. Dharma. What are you doing? Helping people. <laughs> Processed <clears throat> cheese food. I should think about it. That's my boy! Farmer, we need to talk. No problem. We got a six minute break in two hours. Uh, we need to talk now. Okay, then you're gonna have to bag. Paper or plastic? Uh, plastic. Really? Paper? Up to you. Oh, what's going on? I want to talk about the baby. The idea's grown on you, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. I've thought about it, I've slept on it, and I really don't think it's a good idea. Well, Greg, you didn't sleep on it. You tossed and turned all night. That's because I was thinking about well, it. Then you need a good night's sleep. But I can't sleep. Well, then you shouldn't make a decision. No, the answer is no. The answer is no? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dharma, but you can't help every human being on the planet. Yeah, Greg, but you can't help the ones that are right in front of you. Well, if we want to help this girl, we should put her in touch with one of those organizations that are set up to handle this kind of thing. How can you be so cold? How can you be so irrational? Oh, so you're suddenly irrational to want to adopt your supermarket checkout girl's baby? <laughs> yes! How can... But, Greg, but, I, I, but, but, don't you butt butt me. But you butt butt me all oh, the time! Oh, my God. What? what? I've thought about it, and I don't want the bacon, but I do want the cheese. Fine! <laughs> I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh, and I'd like a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, buddy, I am this close to giving up on you. <laughs>
that's wrong. Ah, <sighs> Kate, listen, Donna. Um, I know I said that we'd adopt your baby, but I messed up, and I really should have talked to Greg first. He doesn't want the baby? I'm sorry. It's just Greg's a planner. I mean, he won't even get on a plane without knowing where it's going. <laughs> Damn. I know, it's like, how do you go on vacation? <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it! You're angry, come on, just feel the feeling. Oh! Yeah. I think this is it. Oh, labor! Oh, oh. oh. God, this is great! <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Good. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Right. How do you just in time John is having your baby? Okay, let's not panic. <laughs> panicking, Greg. Good, because we shouldn't do that. There's no need for it. Um, <laughs> let's just, uh, we'll get her things and we'll go to the hospital. Why? She's not sick. Dharma, people have babies in hospitals. Yeah, I know. Isn't it horrible? Greg, <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> right, would you call Abby? Why? She's a midwife. Unless you think that you and I can handle it alone. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to do one of those home birth things. Oh, well, we don't exactly have time to get her into the woods, now do we? <laughs> Hello, uh, Abby. Hi, it's Greg. Um, no, no, I didn't see it. No, I, I, I'm sure it was a bitchin' sunset. No, listen, Abby. <laughs> you gotta get over here. Donna's having a baby. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, hello? Dad, I can't talk right now. I gotta get Abby over here. Donna's having the baby. Abby, how soon can you get here? Don't worry, we'll be there just as fast as our little legs can pedal. Pedal? No, Abby, don't take the bikes. Please drive! <laughs> No, Edward, tell me exactly what he said. He said he had to get Abby over there because Donna is having a baby. Oh, Edward, Donna. Who is Donna? I don't know. It's Donna! <laughs> Donna is pregnant. Oh, don't you ever listen. No, no, no I'm pretty sure that he oh, said Oh, I told you. I told you this would happen. I told you that one day we would lose our son to those people. And now, look, our first grandchild is on the way and they are celebrating without us. Come on. Oh, Donna, I... <laughs> come on, come on, come on. How's it going up there? Uh, you know your favorite pillow? I don't have a favorite pillow. Good! I need a hammer. A what? A hammer. A hammer? Oh, honey, why don't you just wait for your mother? <laughs> Donna needs crushed ice. Listen, Greg, I talked to Donna, and I told her that we can't adopt the baby, and I just... I'm really sorry that I put you on the spot. It was totally unfair. Oh. Oh, well, uh, thanks. I mean, you have a right to feel the way you do, and I just shouldn't have tried to force you into it. Oh, uh, it's okay. I just have to remember, ugh, you and I do things differently. <laughs> That's true. Um... <laughs> Listen, Darma, I have a friend from law school who specializes in adoptions, and I'm sure he can find a terrific couple to adopt the baby. Great, that's great. <laughs> hey, that's my charm bracelet. I thought I lent that to Jane. That's weird. Um, thanks for understanding. I'm sorry I was so wool about it. Well, I mean, you can't make a decision that's going to change the rest of your life on the spur of the moment. I did when I met you. Yeah, but that's different. Bup, 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 bup. Nice. Uh, I gotta go. Is there anything I can do? Just answer the door. How'd you do that? I heard the elevator. I hope, I hope that's your mother. No, it's your mother. Gregory, it's your mother. <laughs> I don't know, that was just totally freaky. <laughs> hello, hello. What are you doing here? Gregory, don't you have something you want to tell me? Uh, stop by any time, no need to call. Gregory, when were you planning to tell us about this baby? Oh, that, I don't know. Why would you even care? Oh, Edward, do you hear what your son is saying? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> oh, Mama, that was a big one! What is going on up there? What do you think's going on? A woman's having a baby. How long were we in Europe? <laughs> Gregory, this is not making any sense whatsoever. It's really very simple. Our supermarket checkout girl, Donna, is having a baby, and we're helping her. I'm sorry, what was that name? Donna. <laughs> Donna. Oh, bully for you, Edward. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah. Knob Hill. Very, very, very... Uh, very... bumpy. <sighs> yeah. Busy, bumpy. Uh, See? <laughs> <laughs> 
And uh, here, I got a good one. Edward, Edward. <laughs> How far apart are the, uh, the contractions? I don't know. She's upstairs. Okay, well, let's get to work. Hi, Kitty. Come on, you can help. You're not going to take this girl to a hospital. Why? She's not sick. Mother, maybe you can uh, give her a hand. Well, I don't know anything about childbirth. What do you mean? You had me? Oh, Gregory, don't be vulgar. <laughs> Donna. Where are they taking her? She's having the baby in the bathtub. I beg your pardon. People have babies in bathtubs. <laughs> I like to read in there until I get pruny. Edward, you're surrounded. Don't abandon me now. Oh, crap! 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 <laughs> Larry, that is very annoying. The bell in general, or just this song? <laughs> Edward, I don't believe etiquette requires that we be present at the birth of a child whose mother works in our daughter-in-law's supermarket. We can see the baby. It looks just like this. <laughs> Don't you want to get in there and see your child being born? Your child? What are you talking about? Dharma and Greg are adopting Donna's baby. The baby's looking at me. Heads up! Heads out! <laughs> Oops, I'm the photographer. You are going to adopt that girl's baby? Donna. <laughs> we, we thought about it, but we decided not to. Well, thank God. This was Dharma's idea, wasn't it? Yeah, well, sort of. At least you have some sense, Gregory. That girl would take in every stray cat in the city if it weren't for you. Well, it's not a cat, Mother. It's a child. Of course, of course. But there are organizations, you know, that help girls when they get into this condition. That's what I told her. Good. As a matter of fact, I am hosting a benefit for unwed mothers next month. A wine-tasting cruise. <laughs> Actually, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Everybody's dressing as wenches and pirates. Still, this... There's something to be said for getting in there and helping someone who's right in front of you. Oh, for God's sakes, Gregory, that's what nuns are for. <laughs> Believe me, you did the right thing. You don't make a snap decision on the spur of the moment that's going to turn your life upside down. I did when I met Dharma. We've got a big, healthy baby boy! Five, 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 and what? <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. I want us to adopt the baby. What? Really? Yes, really. Are you sure? Absolutely. I want to do this. I love you. <laughs> hey, you guys, we're going to do it. We're going to adopt the baby. Dharma, that's wonderful. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we decided on the wine tasting cruise, didn't we? <laughs> We changed our mind. Come on, everybody. Meet the newest member of our family. That's a black child. <laughs> Abby, I hate this. Saving the planet was your idea, Larry. We'll give up the washing machine. No! And let go of my fender. I can't pedal anymore. You can't just stay on the bridge. You're right. I'll wait here. You ride home and get the van. Yeah. You wait right here, Larry. Abby? You're coming back, right? <laughs> Abby!
she's nice and comfy. It's because our bed is nice and comfy. <laughs> but you can't expect a pregnant woman to sleep on a ratty old air mattress. No, I expect her to sleep in her home. That's my little system for the world. At the end of the day, everyone returns to their own home. <laughs> It's just like camping. Yes, it is, except we're not outside and you volunteered us to adopt a stranger's baby. <laughs> Donna is not a stranger. She is our checkout girl. Dharma, I understand. When you go to the supermarket, you're at the register, you might pick up an impulse item. Gum, nail clippers, a horoscope if you're feeling nutty, but come on, not a baby. <laughs> you know what? You might be right. Why don't we just get some sleep and talk about it in the morning? Fine. But I really don't think that I have to... In the morning. Okay, but I still... <laughs> We're not gonna solve this now, so let's just give it some time. Dharma, this is a huge decision. We should both agree on it. Of course. So if I give it time and I still... <laughs> Forget about it. For now, let's pretend that we're camping in the redwoods, making love under the harvest moon. Oh, man, I gotta pee! Because <laughs> time understands when you're tired. Uh, good. No, this is, um, about a baby. You're having a baby? No, no we're not having a baby. There's a girl who works at our supermarket, and she's pregnant, and Dharma wants us to adopt her baby. Ooh, the girl who works at your supermarket? Yes. Do you know her? No, not at all. Wow. Like, just taking a stranger's baby into your home and raising it as your own. I know. Greg, it's your first random act of kindness. <laughs> We're so proud of you. Oh, yeah. So do you think being adopted had a negative effect on you? Heck no. It turned out fine. <laughs> Get out of this fish, you stupid bracelet! Hey. Hey. Daddy's home. <laughs> yeah, where's Dharma? I wasn't feeling so good, so she took over my shift at the supermarket. She's working as a checkout girl? Well, what's wrong with being a checkout girl? No, nothing. Oh, yeah, then how come you went to lawyer school instead of checkout girl school? No. Next to a big waterfall. So is this checkout girl cute? <laughs> what's that got to do with it? Well... She's not seeing that guy anymore. Maybe you can introduce me. Peach is having a baby. Yeah, but she's giving it to you. <laughs> no, she's not. Hey, how long after they have the kid do they keep making milk? <laughs> Seek professional help. You are ill. Hello? Hi, you're here. Hi. Come on in. Yeah. Sorry we're late. Strong headwind on the bridge. You biked here? Yeah. 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 We, 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 we. Yeah, we don't want to participate in the fossil fuel addiction foisted upon us by multinational corporations. Yeah, and, 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 and. And, and so from now on, we will use the energy of our bodies to transport us instead of exploiting the planet we live on. Uh -huh. What planet would that be, Larry? <laughs> Important that we couldn't talk over the phone. Um, Dharma and I are having a little problem, and I could really use your help. Is it about sex? No, no, no. Honey? Yep. Yeah. Would you mind getting me that box of rice down there? This one? No, the one on the bottom. Sure. Oh, yeah, baby, get the rice. <laughs> With that? I can't help it. Your butt looks really good today. You think? Uh huh. You're having a good butt day. <laughs> so I should. Keep parting it in the middle. Oh. Clean up on aisle six. Uh, Dharma, that's code. They mean us. Don't be silly. With the couple on aisle six, please clean it up. See? Code. Wow. I wonder what price check really means. I don't know. Price check! Whoa! 
Hey, Dharma. Hey, wow. Look at you, Greg. Look how big she's gotten. Oh, it's hard to believe. Do we know her? <laughs> Honey, it's Donna from the Express Lane. Oh, Express Lane, Donna. <laughs> so, you and Jimmy must be getting pretty excited, huh? I guess. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Jimmy left. What? What happened? He told me that he was being transferred to New Zealand, but I saw him yesterday at 7-Eleven. <laughs> what did he say? He pretended he wasn't him. <laughs> I hate it when guys do that. What guys do that? Honey, we're here to be supportive. I thought we were here to shop. <laughs> You just let it out. Come, 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 come. This lane is closed. She can't do that. Hey, I've seen her close an interstate so ducks can cross. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I can't raise this baby by myself. Well, can't your parents help you? Dharma, you know my parents. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you know her parents? Honey, she's our checkout girl. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give this baby up for adoption. I'm just not ready to do this alone. But Donna, you are not alone. You have me and Greg. <laughs> Thanks, but it's not the same thing. I want this baby to have two parents. You know, a mother and a father. Like you guys. Hey, maybe you could adopt my baby. Yeah! yeah!